Rakuten, the $15 billion a year giant. Today, what we're going to do is talk about the cash back business model, affiliate marketing, and how Rakuten got started and now makes over $15 billion dollars a year. That's right. Today we are going deep into the business model, deep into how this works. And not only that, but I'm also going to show you 10 ways that you can make money online using what you're about to learn today. Now, I got to tell you, if you like online business, affiliate marketing, and you want to make money online, you got to stay for this entire training. I have been up practically all morning last night and many days before prepping for this training to show you deep inside this business model and how it works. Now, if you're out there and you just want to make money, saving money on Rakuten and get cashback rewards, we're going to talk to you about that too. We're going to talk to you about how they make money, how Rakuten works, and the whole nine yards. Now, if you want notes from this video, we have them available at downloadmynotes.com. We have people standing by to transcribe the notes, so those will be ready shortly. If you have not yet heard of Rakuten, or Rakuten, I think is how you pronounce it, it is known as the Amazon of Japan. Now, wait a minute, that, that's a pretty bold claim. I mean, are you really the Amazon of Japan? Are you able to take on this giant business model? Well, today we're going to talk about that and we're going to show you exactly how it works. And are they giving Amazon a run for their money? They started around the same time. So what gives? Now, if you were to go to Rakuten and you look up different cashback deals like Nike coupons. All right. I actually got a little Rakuten account so we can go through and show you how this works. You could see here that if you were going to buy some new shoes, which actually I'm in the market for because my shoes are getting kind of worn out. So I was going to go to Nike and check it out. They say that if I use the Rakuten app or I use the Rakuten website, I can get 6% six, uh, cash back, meaning on my $100 shoes, I'm going to get 6 bucks back. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Like, we like to save money, but we like to get money more than that. And we're going to show you exactly how this works. We can also see here that it says if I sign up for some kind of AT&T business thing, I'm going to get $100 cash back. Hey, that's pretty cool. Now, according to what I could find, the information, it said that in its more than 20 years in business, under both name, Rakuten Rewards, Linkshare, many others, um, I think Ebates, a lot of other companies, they have given out more than $1 billion in cashback rewards. Wait a minute. So this company with affiliate marketing, which is gurus and all this stuff, actually is using a business model that makes tons and tons of money? Wait, Marcus, this isn't just about gurus and Lambos with rented helicopters talking about money. No, no, no. This is a big, gigantic business to the tune of $41 million a day for this business alone. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. $41 million each and every day. So I think if you're looking at making money online... If you're looking at cashback rewards, if you're looking at affiliate marketing, there's something you need to learn in this training. Smash a like button if you're excited and let's dive in even deeper. We can see here that Rakuten actually ranks the 723rd most popular website on planet Earth. That means there's only 722 websites that get more traffic. That's pretty big. They get about 80 million visitors a month or more. They are ranking number four in their category. And the average person stays about two minutes on their website. Now, we could also see they got some SEO game. They got some keywords, which we're going to go over in a little bit. We'll also get you information on where to download these keyword reports and everything. Now, this is a very important training because right now, things are going crazy. You can see that Dow Jones is dropping Tesla stock is dropping, which apparently everyone's freaking out about that. And people think that we're going into a recession, which may or may not be true. All right. Now, what we got to look at here is this is a business model that withstood two different recessions, the one in the early dot com boom and the one in 2008 and soon to be the one right now. Now, why does this stand the test of time? 
This stands a test of time because this business is built on saving people money and giving them cash back, which is crazy. So we're going to look at this and we're going to take a look at what's going on because where did this all begin? Where did Rakuten begin? What was the idea? What can we learn? And more importantly, I know you're here because you want to learn how you can get a piece of the action. And we're going to show you exactly how that works. Again, download mynotes.com for my notes. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. There's downloadmynotes.com, right? Let's backtrack a little bit and let's talk about how this works, right? How does this business model work? Well, in 1990, Hiroshi Mikitani, I think I said that correctly. If not, I'm sorry, but uh, he had this brilliant idea. Now, I love the origin story of this entrepreneur because He's a guy that kind of looks at things the way I used to, only he looked at it as a bigger picture, which is why he has billions and I am still stuck with my smaller amount, right? And we look at that, we're like, okay, check this out. What did he do? Well, back in 1990, he realized that the internet was growing, it was big, it was coming of age. And all these businesses were kind of like, okay, this internet thing, maybe it's a fad, maybe it's a joke, I think it's just a bunch of people trying to connect computers. I don't even know what it is. And he went out there and he said, hey, look, guys, you need to have a website or you're probably not going to have a business pretty soon because that's the way of the world. The world is going to websites. And so he went out there and he found business owners that wanted to get websites, much like I did back in 1998, 99. I graduated high school in 98. In 99, I started building websites for local companies that wanted to put their business online. Now, unlike me, where I went out there and I wanted to get paid for my work that day, I was like, here, I build you a website, give me a couple thousand bucks, boom, we're ready to go. That launched my business. Now, for Hiroshi back then, he was like, wait a minute, I see something bigger. So what if I made a platform and I charged them a small bit? So these other guys are charging five, ten thousand $10,000 for a website. What if we charge them like a hundred bucks or 300 bucks or a thousand dollars? And then we charged them less for web hosting, but it was all on our platform. So everything is going to the one space. And this was brilliant. I didn't think that way back then. I was still out of high school. I still haven't found my brain yet. I still, I'm still looking for it, but I, I've gotten a little bit closer, right? And he found his and he said, wait a minute, let's look at the platform. Let's look at the big picture. And so he started this and said, hey, let's put all the businesses that we're building websites for on Ichiba Rakuten, which was the big site back then in Japan. They were like the huge site. They still are. And they listed all the businesses with the websites they built. And bada bing, bada bang, he was the source to go to because if you wanted to look up your local business that he had managed, well, you had to go to his site. And boom, that is his site. In 1997, they started as MDM Inc. when they were building the websites. And then they uh, graduated into an internet shopping mall. And I remember back in the day, you guys might remember, uh, internet shopping malls were all the rage. And I remember a friend of mine had invited me to this business conference. And they had all these fancy cars outside. And we go in and they're like, you're going to buy an internet shopping mall. And I'm like, okay, well, what's the gag here? And so they talked about how many users they had and and all this stuff. And I did the math in my head, and I'm like, okay, all you're doing is making money selling internet shopping malls. And that ended up being kind of a bunk situation. But with this here, Linkshare and Rakuten, this was not a bunk situation. This was a brilliant business model. And he said, let's make this big shopping mall, which is basically what Amazon wanted to do. They were like, let's make this big shopping mall where you could buy anything from little stands to microphones to fake money for guru videos and pretty much anything you want, you can buy on Amazon. And that was their idea. And back then they looked at it and they were like, that's a lofty idea. Good luck, Jeff. Have fun selling your books. And a lot of people didn't believe in the business model. Much like this, people didn't believe in it. They didn't know what was going on. But what he said is, look, this isn't just an internet shopping mall. What we're doing is we're leveling the playing field so that every mom and pop business 
can get online. If you guys are digging this training, smash that like button and subscribe. Let me know you appreciate the work that goes into these. I actually hired about four people to do notes. I did my own notes and I had to revamp all kinds of things. That was crazy. But then I wanted to provide to you a very, very good way to make this work. Okay? So he wanted to level the playing field and say, hey, look, you can get online. Now, at the same time, across the pond, as it were, Linkshare opens up shop. Now, Linkshare is a company that's dear to my heart. Back in 2003, I got started with Linkshare. Back in 1999, I got started with ClickBank. I've been doing this stuff for a long time. A lot of people say, Marcus, all you do is make videos online. Well, back then, you didn't really have videos online, but nice try. So we got to look at this. Now with Linkshare, um, I ran the famous tattoo website on uh, Linkshare platform. I ran a uh, Christmas tree website, uh, cable TV website, all kinds of stuff. Made lots of money with Linkshare. Now in 1997, Linkshare opened up as like a link sharing company. Hence the name, you guessed it, Linkshare. Now, we got to look at this because Linkshare, back in 1997 kind of caught on to something that was important. And again, sit through this entire video. You guys are going to get aha moments galore if you're willing to watch the video. This is going to train your brain to see things differently. So follow along, smash that like button. You guys are in for a big treat. Now, link share and the beginnings of affiliate marketing. Back in 2003, when the internet was the Wild West and you could just pretty much put anything up and make money, right? Which you still can today. People think it's harder today. I think it's easier. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But with Linkshare, they said, well, let's get all these merchants together. You got Nike, you got TVs, you got computers, you got all this stuff. What if we made a platform where the advertisers could come to us, we go find all the businesses and influencers and marketers. Back then, they were called bloggers and website builders, content creators, publishers, if you will. Now they're called influencers. It's a fancy name, and, you know, people, they think what they want. But it's the same thing. You're providing content online. Now, back then, it was very simple, and they were like, hey, we want your website traffic. That's what we want. And you could sign up for Linkshare, get your link, share your link, and get paid when people buy stuff. So it's like, hey, you know what? I am going to sell this little camera thingy right here. And it costs $20, and the merchant is willing to pay me $5 a sale. So I log into Mer to Linkshare, I get my link, I share that link with you saying, hey, everyone needs this, and every time it sells, I get five bucks. Now, here's how it works, a brief overview of affiliate marketing. Again, you're going to get an aha moment if you stick around long enough. So smash that like button. Get ready. It's coming. I promise you're going to dig it. You'll be like, thank you, Marcus. I love this training. Why isn't there a love button instead of the like button? But at any rate, I digress. All right. How affiliate marketing works, a brief overview. First of all, you have a website. All right. There's your website. You put links on your website from Linkshare, uh, Commission Junction, ClickBank, Amazon, Click Sales, whatever it is you want. Okay? When that link is clicked and the person goes to the store and makes a purchase, fills out a form, downloads a thing, whatever it is, you get paid. All right? It's an automatic sales tracking. All right? It's kind of like if you were to stand outside a store. This is hypothetical. You stand outside a store and you put a little sticker on everyone who you talk to. And when they go in the store, the checkout person says, oh, you have a sticker. We need to give Marcus $10 or $5 or $100 or even more. All right, I've made millions of dollars with affiliate marketing. This is how it works. It's like a little tracker, very simple. And the more trackers you get, the more money you're going to make. Okay, very simple. You guys get it? Let me know you get it. Type it in the chat box. Say, Marcus, I get it. Put it in the comments. Say, yes, I get it. This makes sense. Now, that was the foundings of Linkshare. And I'll remember back in 2002, uh, I hung out with my friend Missy, who started Affiliate Summit. 
And back then, Affiliate Summit was like 10 people in a room. And we're like, hey, we're affiliate marketers. You know, and you had the coupon lady and you had this guy. And, and lots of us went on to do big things with affiliate marketing. And back then, it was small. People didn't understand it. People didn't get it. But in 1999, Rakuten got it. Their name in Japanese actually means optimism. Wait a minute. Pretty cool. Now, Rakuten saw this and they're like, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Like, we could literally just send links to people and get paid. Like, like that's it, Marcus. You, you send links and get paid. So my job is create link from affiliate account, send link, and get paid. That, that's my job, literally. And Rakuten was like, oh, wait a minute. I think I see something very important. All right, that's it. Cyril Optimism, all right? 2002, they came out with Rakuten points. They're like, wait a minute. So if we make $100 per sale, what if we gave 25 or 50 back to the person shopping? Ah, wait a, wait a minute. And this is where back in 2002, I was 23 years old. I just wanted to make money. I didn't have a big picture. I didn't see what was going on. You learn a lot of things. You know, when you're 20, you know everything. And then when you're 40, you figured out you didn't know a darn thing. But you're willing to learn, which is good. Maybe when I'm 60, I will, I will know like three things. But one thing I do know is affiliate marketing. And so Rakuten points, he saw the big picture and he's like, what if we pass some of that back to the consumer? Pretty cool. And so they were looking at this link share company and back then, here's what it looked like, right? That is what it looked like. This is what it looked like. ClickBank looked like this, right? And I remember I used to run ads on ClickBank. It was, it was fun. Made lots of money with ClickBank. Now, in 1996, link share opened by 2005, it became this huge, huge business. And it was like, wait a minute, this business just got bought by Rakuten. So Rakuten, they, they, they were sitting there and they got money in their pockets. They're like, hey, we ain't no slouch here, right? We got our money. And they're like, I think we'll take one of these or 425,000 of these and maybe go buy, uh, or 425 million of these, thousand. I don't know, you do the math. And we'll go buy and make this work. Okay, we'll go buy and we'll make this work and, and we'll make it happen. And so they bought the company for $425 million, million dollars. $425 million. I don't care who you are, that's a lot of money. Unless you're like Elon Musk, then it's like, hey, hold on, let me save up. Okay, let's go buy it. But, you know, he's, he's busy buying Twitter or something like that. But at any rate, link share for $425 million. They also, in 2010, they bought Buy.com for $250 million. Then it starts to heat up. And they're like, hey, we're building this business, cashback stuff. We're going to talk to you about cashback. We're going to talk to you about how this works. Again, this is my wheelhouse. This is the industry I've been in for over 20 years now. In 2014, they started up in the ante. And they found this little company. We'll use the little in quotes because it wasn't little. And this company was Ebates. And Ebates was doing kind of like this affiliate marketing cashback kind of deal. And this is what their site used to look like. Uh, the earliest one I can found was like 2003, I think it was. Um, and this is what the site looked like. And it was like, okay, one, two, three, eight jets. You get 10 or 16% cash back. Uh, 1% on Expedia. Now, a lot of these offers, if you've been around the affiliate game, these are like the known affiliate offers. Like 123 Ink Jets have been around since the dawn of time. Super simple. Okay? Now, why is this important? Well, this is important because when Ebates was bought by Rakuten for $1 billion, all right, what were they? Well, they were a place as it says, where it pays to shop online. So they got paid, or you got paid to shop online, and they got paid as an affiliate. Okay, now, when they got acquired, they, had, they said they have given, give a little, can't speak today. They said they have given over $400 million in cash back to their users. So if they gave away 400 million bucks, you could 
bet they're making a lot. Now, as of today, I think it's Rakuten says that they save or give cash back on average like $64 per year per person. Now, I haven't verified that, but that's what I found. They also bought Kobodo, which is an ebook reader. Now, I thought this was important because it kind of ties in to the whole Amazon play. Like, wait a minute. So they bought e-readers. They bought an Audible type competitor. They're kind of getting into this stuff. Very interesting. Okay, get ready. The aha moment, moment will come to those who patiently wait. The reason we're going through this in such detail is because you need to understand how this stacks up. All right, even if you're out there and you're like, I just want to save money. I just want to make money. Marcus, get to the point. Tell me to push F569 and I will make money automatically. All right, that, that's not true, but a lot of people are looking for that. The reason it's laid out this way is because I want to take you through a journey to get the aha moment in the way that I had it. Now, you could go and do your own thing for the next 23 years, learn it on your own, or you could pay attention to the little nuances because this is going to come full circle and you're going to get it. Now, I want to talk about three things. Number one is the cash back business model. Okay, this is known as incentivized marketing. Some affiliate companies allow it, some do not. We're going to talk about how to use it and we're going to talk about a step even bigger. All right, you guys are going to dig this. Smash a like button if you're excited. Uh, next up, I want to talk to you about reg paths. Back in the day of affiliate marketing, uh, you might have seen those offers that were like, get a $500 computer for free or whatever. Okay, now the way that those offers worked, I will admit some of them were completely shady and crazy. But the way that the ones that were legit worked is they worked on what was called a reg path, aka a registration path. They would say, put your info in to get this thing, and then they would show you offers. Hey, do you want a mortgage? Do you want insurance? Do you want this? Do you want that? The more offers you filled out, the more money they got, and the more money you got as part of your bonus. Very simple. So cashback, incentivized, reg path, and then rewards, where they're rewarding you in some way for doing the affiliate action. All right, now, I want to talk to you about something very important here, and that is the Rakuten cashback shopping extension. Yeah, if you guys know anything about me, I've made millions of dollars with extensions. I love Chrome extensions, browser extensions, toolbars, everything like that. Now, this extension is used by over 3 million users. And I got to tell you, if you got 3 million users using anything, you're going to make money. Like, unless you, like, put your head in the sand or something, you're going to make money. All right. So I want you to understand that. Note that because that's going to be aha moment one when we get to it. OK, so you can go to Google Chrome. You can get this or you can get it right on the, the Rakuten site. Now, you can see how they work. Basically, Rakuten site. I could go here. I could type in like Nike or something like that. Or I could type in Amazon. Interesting how Amazon says no discount. Hmm, that's interesting. So they don't give any cash back if you shop at Amazon, which is the biggest store known to man. Interesting. But they do have Adidas and Doc Martens and all this other stuff. Very important. OK, very, very, very important. OK, now let's go through and let's take a look at some others. You got uh, Retail Me Not, which is also a big one. OK, so we're going to go through and we're like, OK, we got Rakuten shopping. OK, now, how does this work? Marcus, how does this work? Well, Rakuten makes money through affiliate marketing, which I talked about earlier. It's a tracking. You click it. You get paid when people buy. Now, when you look at this, you're going to see that on Nike and other programs like Amazon, Fitbit, whatever, all this other stuff, you're going to see that they have commission amounts. On Nike, it happens to be 6% cash back. So I buy my shoes. I get six bucks. Pretty cool. $100 shoes, $6 cash back. You do the math. Now, why does that work? Why in the world would that work? That works. Pay close attention. Aha moment is imminent. That happens because the Nike affiliate program pays 11% commission. Ah, wait a minute, Marcus. So what Rakuten is doing is they're getting 11%. So I buy my shoes they get $11. They give me six and they pocket five. Ah, 
brilliant. But not only that, because, hey, that's cool. I want to get six bucks when you buy your shoes. But they're also doing something very important. And we've got a stick figure diagram in just a minute that's going to make this sing for you. It's going to make sense. And the 10 ways you're going to make money with this are going to blow your mind. And I don't care if you buy my stuff or not. Buying my stuff will make life a little easier for you. But this will work. Okay, pay close attention. All right, now, they also have uh, cashback and scary good deals, all kinds of stuff. Now, HBO Max and BarkBox. Interesting. So they'll give you 15 bucks on BarkBox. And, of course, there's terms. You have to buy the right thing and stuff like that. Or HBO Max. How do they do this? Well, BarkBox on OfferVault is available to anyone. Like, you could go to OfferVault, you could get BarkBox, and you could be like, hey, check it out. I got BarkBox. And you could send your link to people and get $12.50 when people sign up. Now, because Rakuten LinkShare is a conglomerate, gigantic company, you could bet BarkBox is probably paying them more than they're going to pay old Marcus here in the backyard office. Because old Marcus ain't driving a million signups a minute or whatever. That was a joke. I don't know if it's a minute. It might be two minutes. But we look at this and we're like, that's how it works. So they're basically just giving you a portion. Now, again... This is known as incentivized marketing. Some affiliate companies like it, some don't. We're going to talk to you about what to do about that. Now, here's another one. HBO Max, $16. So I sign up for HBO Max, I get $16. It's probably a free trial. Probably cost me nothing. Okay? Now, OfferVault says HBO, $28. Pretty cool. So I pocket, what, $12 if I give away $16? That's pretty cool. All right, how many of you guys are getting an aha moment? Smash that like button. Let me know you want me to keep going because I got a lot of good stuff coming up in just a minute. Smash that like button. Let me know in the comments. Let's cruise on down. Now, we got some competitors, okay? Ibotta is a competitor that was founded worth more than a billion dollars. Says they've given over $5 billion in cash back refunds. Pretty cool. And they call them refunds, but it's actually just cash back. A refund is completely different. But I remember back in the day, there was this ClickBank refund program or whatever it was. And it was basically a cash back thing. And it, it was weird. But at any rate, Upside is another one. Uh, does some stuff on gas, which is cool. Upside was founded in 2016. Says they've given away two million or 200 million in cash back. Uh, Shopkick, another one. You also have the Honey app. Capital One Shopping, Top Cashback, Swag Bucks, and Retail Me Not. Now, let me give you a little hint about the up-and-coming aha moment. All right, here we go, here we go. Get your, get your notepad out, because this is going to be a doozy. The hint about that is the fact that, like, sleep shopping, check this out. This is a Chrome desktop extension that helps people save money. You get two fifty to give it away. I've also seen retail me not at like four bucks, and I've seen lots of others, right? So there's lots of ways to make money. Very, very, very important. Okay. So we're gonna look at that now. The brilliant business model is this, and here's our stick figure: the dread of affiliate marketing is that you have to get people to come back. Like if I say, hey, go to this site, order this thing, and you go there and you don't order, I make no money, and you forget who I am. Or you just forget. That's how it works. And we got to look at this, and we got to understand exactly what's going on. Because what they've done is they've made a way for people to come back. Hey, if you keep coming back and you keep shopping, you're going to get more money. Like, who doesn't like that? Like, okay, that's pretty cool. Like, there you go. Now, in addition to that, let's take a look at some of Rakuten's keywords because I think we could see something inside this business model. And I believe I put a, I believe I have a screenshot of it somewhere. I got a screenshot where to go. It actually showed, I think it was on the Nike one. It actually showed how much cash back they had given for each program. And I believe the Nike one, it was like, 
uh, let's see. We'll just we'll go here. Nike. There we go. Nike. It should say right here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. So, like, on Nike alone, just on Nike, $32 million. Hey, that's, that's a lot. I don't care who you are. And if you do the math, if you get, like, 0.00001%, you're still making a good living. Or 0.001, I don't know. But it's a small amount for a big amount. And you could still make a living looking at this. And we're going to talk to you about those 10 ways in just a minute. Now, Nike... Why is that important? That's important because if you look at the keywords they rank for, watch this. This is top 1,000 keywords that Rakuten ranks for. Let's do Nike. One, two, three, four, five, six. It keeps going. Nike promo codes, 14,000 searches a month. You got... Nike specific shoes, 12,000 searches a month. You got Nike uh, Ebates, 150. You got Nike discount code, 24,000. How many of you guys are getting it? If you're getting it, smash that like button. That thing should be over 300. It's a little sad right now. Help that little like button out. But are you getting it? Like, here it is. This is the business model in real life. Nike discount code. All right, we go to Google and we do Nike discount code. Okay, and watch the sites that come up. You got uh, some ads, Nike, LA Times, that's interesting. Uh, Retail Me Not, CNN coupons, Groupon Wired, Coupon Follow, Coupon Cabin, Honey, interesting. It's not an ad, but it shows the thing there. And you're going to see that this is how... The business works. There's there's Rakuten right there. Why are they able to get over $70 million worth of commissions from Nike or close to 70? That's how. How many of you guys are getting it? How many of you guys are getting it? David says he makes a killing with YouTube and Nike with eBay affiliate. There you go. Right? And, and this stuff works. We're not talking about guru, maybe, hypothetical. No, no, no. We're talking about billion dollar business models. And the idea works based on getting people back. All right. And you take a look at some of the other keywords that they have eBay cashback, you got uh, coupons, Macy's, home improvement stores. They rank number 13 for that. Um, Ulta coupons, and on and on we go. Right. They're not even like making their own traffic. This is all traffic that people are looking at anyway. Are you getting it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the chat box. And now, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. May I have your attention? We are going to talk about 10 ways you can make money with what you just learned. And if you're ready, smash that like button. Let's dive in. Here's how you can make money. Number one, obvious. Obvious. You can shop and save money so you could go out there you could buy your shoes and get cash back all kinds of stuff like that pretty cool great wonderful that's obvious that's easy you could make some money depending on how much you shop i remember years ago uh i used to use the old um the old uh mx1 card and i put a lot of ads on the mx1 card and one year i got ten thousand bucks back i was like hey that's pretty cool i was gonna spend it anyway and i got 10 grand back which was great Now, that is number one. That's obvious. You can use these. And if you're a discount person, if you're into coupons, you can save some money. Cool. Great. Awesome. We win. Number two. This is pretty cool. This is where we're getting into the good stuff. Come on down. Let's listen to some cool stuff here. Number two. You can promote Rakuten. 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 However you say it. Right. Uh, For normal people, you can refer your favorite human beings for money. So if you're a normal person, not an influencer, you can get thirty dollars when someone signs up for Rakuten and spends thirty dollars. I think that's how it works. Check it out and and see. Uh, Or if you're an influencer and you're going to promote this and get more than 10 referrals, you get 50 bucks. Right. So you're like, hey, guys, check it out. Here I am. I'm going to show you how to use Rakuten and save money. And you can get paid for that. Pretty cool. 50 bucks. 
I'll tell you right now, it adds up really quick. You get 10 of those a day, you're making a good six-figure income. You get six of them a day, you're making a good six-figure income. You get 20 of them a day, you're making a thousand bucks a day. Results not typical implied or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing, so all of this money is in fact fake money. But you get the idea, right? We want you to understand that this is a business and how it works. Now, you can promote Rakuten and make a lot of money. Lots of people do it. Or number three, you can make an affiliate coupon site. You go out there, you make a website called Marcus's Crazy Coupons or whatever it is. And you can find all the coupon codes, help them out, link to stuff that pays you money, and bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Pretty simple. There's lots of students I have that make coupon sites. One of them bought a coupon domain from me a couple months ago. They're doing really well. Pretty cool. Number four, you can make a cashback rewards giveaway site. Now, again, this is going to be the area of uh, incentivizing. So it's going to be a little difficult. You're going to have to get it going. However, you can promote different cashback rewards programs. You could see here, um, Swagbucks pays $12.25 for a sign-up. Pretty simple. You're like, hey guys, use Swagbucks and get bucks for swag or something like that. I don't know how it works. But you can promote that and get some money as well. Um, you can also see Rakuten is on Offer Vault with an insights and a sign up. So now the difference here is this. If you're up here and you promote this $30, $50, all right, these people actually have to spend the money on Rakuten for you to get paid. All right, that's a tall order. Over here, you get $1.50 when they sign up and download the app. Or you could do sleep shopping or uh, retail me not get 250 per sign up. How many of you guys are getting this? You're like, Marcus, all I got to do is get people to sign up for the site, spend some money and I get 30 bucks or 50 bucks or just sign up for the site, spend no money. And I still get uh, 20, uh, $2 or, or $1.50 or 250 or whatever it is. You getting it? Really cool. Let's, let's keep going here because I think this is really, really important. You can also make a cashback rewards review site. So what you would do is you'd go buy the stuff you buy anyway, find out which sites pay you the most. Pretty cool. Or number six, make a cash back rewards niche site, right? Maybe you go out there and you're like, hey, if you're a shoe person, uh, my mom used to be a shoe fanatic. I remember one year she put all her shoes on the stairs and it took up the stairs. I go, like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got way too many shoes. You only got two feet. What do you got all these shoes for? But at any rate, some people in their shoes, am I right? Maybe you make a cashback rewards niche site about how to save money on shoes. And you put all the cool shoe stores on there and you link to them or you link to the apps that help them save money. Or number seven, you make an affiliate marketing portal. Well, Marcus, what? What, 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 what is an affiliate marketing portal? Well, I'm actually making one right now because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I practice what I preach and I do affiliate marketing all day, every day. That's why I'm called the affiliate marketing dude. And a cashback rewards niche uh, marketing portal is where you're utilizing the concept of getting people back to you over and over and over again. All right. And you're going to go through and you're going to make this work. Okay, so cash uh, a, a affiliate marketing portal is where you're gonna make some. So the one that I'm making right now is actually it's it's for me. It's a day by day affiliate portal. So I'm gonna put it on the profit scoop, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have links to things that I use every day. So like every day I use GoDaddy auctions, I use uh, Namecheap, I use Spamzilla, I use all these things every single day, and I'm like I think that my students would like a page they could go to every day and pretend they're Marcus and click all the links. How many of you guys would be like, dude, that would be super helpful. Like, if you could compile a list of the links you use every day, I'd be all over that and I'd use it every day. Type every day, unlike the song Every Day Bro, which is uh, not, I don't like that song. But at any rate, right? How many of you guys would use that every day? 
You're like, hey, Marcus is just going to put his tools up there, and we can click on them and use them. But what you might not know is that behind the scenes, I'm going to have affiliate links. And I'll disclosure it. I'll say, hey, these are affiliate links. And I could get paid when you use that every day. And how many of you guys would come back to that? You're like, yeah, I'm going to use it because sometimes I forget links. That's why I'm making it, because I forget the links. And just last week, Namecheap is like, you forgot to pay for your auction. And I'm like, yeah, but our power was out three days, and I just forgot to pay. You just give me a break, buddy. Right? And so I was out there, and I'm like, hey, this would be a helpful thing. Literally, it would take me one day to make. Literally. I could get paid over and over every time you guys buy domains and buy software and get tools and all kinds of stuff. And boom, now I'm off to the races. And all I got to do is have that. And you guys see that I do that all the time uh, with the site, The Profit Scoop, which we're building out, where you could go here and you could click the tools that I have. Pretty cool, right? And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. So you just provide a resource of links and, and there you go. So an affiliate marketing portal, maybe I have something for, remember to do this with your dog every day. Take them for a walk, feed them, uh, I don't know, whatever else you do with your dog every day. Um, throw the ball, play the fetch, whatever. Or maybe you have like, hey, here's some things to, to check every day. Hey, you know, check this, check that, whatever it is. And you start to understand, maybe you make a financial portal. Hey, here's top 10 ways to save money today. Get a refinance, use the uh, one card, buy Amex, use this, get rewards, whatever. Or... Number nine, promote cashback rewards credit cards. All these people looking for coupons. What if you're like, hey, use this credit card. You don't have to pay now. And they give you 1% cashback or 2% or whatever it is. Ah, hey, wait a minute, Marcus. Isn't that, isn't that how you made like hundreds of thousands of dollars with your gas rewards site? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. People were like, nobody with gas rewards wants to buy anything. And I was like, of course they don't. But I know they're buying gas. So, like, I don't know, last I checked, gas was not cheap. And, and last I checked, people like to save money. What if I made a little hub on, uh, hey, here's how to save money with gas. Boom. Someone says gas cards for RV travelers. There you go. Maybe you make a list. You make a site. You need this page when you go on an RV trip. Here's how to find your hotel. Here's how to do, I don't know, my dad had that SAM thing. You have this SAM card, and they're like, hey, you got a SAM card? Come on into the RV park, and please go to the casino and spend all your money. But, you know, I digress. That's how it worked. They were like, hey, there we go. Promote cashback rewards credit cards. And the creativity here is what this is going to make work. And number 10 is to make a helpful daily site, which is, hey, what can I help people with? Maybe you're in the law of attraction niche and you're like, hey, here's the top things you need to do to manifest stuff every day. Or self-help, here's the top ways to, to help yourself every day. Or football games. When we moved here to Florida, we couldn't watch the 49ers games and my wife was like, hey, I want to watch the 49er games. I was like, okay, I got better stuff to do than watch football, but you like football, we'll put a big dish on top of the house and we'll watch the 49er games. And now we still don't get them. On Monday, we don't get the 49er game unless you go to some special channel or pay Jeff Bezos more money. I think he paid for the rights to that. And so we start to look at this and we're like, boom, there you go. Dan says a list on offers to lower your interest rates, knowing that the rates are on the rise. Exactly. Or grocery and cooking, right? I, I don't know if you've checked, but like a basket of groceries now costs double what it did like six months ago or a year ago. I'm like, damn, man, those, those chickens are getting rich because the eggs are now six bucks. I don't know. Maybe there's a golden chicken or something. And we can make a site talking about the price of groceries and how to save money. Hey, guys, check it out. Today, they got sales over here. Tomorrow, they're going to have sales over here. You could buy your meat over at, you know, whatever. This, this online meat place, Omaha Steaks or whatever. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Every one of those companies has an affiliate program, which is why Rakuten makes so much money. And I got to hand it to the, the, the CEO or the, the guy who founded Rakuten. Guy's brilliant. This business model works like crazy. It's amazing. 
um, daily deals. Maybe you have a book site. Hey, here's the top books if you're interested in philosophy. Here you go. Learning, coding, making money, magicians. Hey, here's the top places to go to learn new tricks. Weather, health, you name it. Now, one of the things you're going to notice with sites like Rakuten and, and Retail Me Not and stuff like that is that when you click and you're like, hey, I want to get this Vistaprint sale, what's going to happen? Boom. Automatically sends you to Vistaprint. Interesting. So what did they do? They just cookied me. Remember how I said affiliate marketing? They're going to put a little tag and they're going to track you until you make the sale? Up here, I talked about it somewhere up here yonder, right? Get a little tag. When you buy, they get money. That's why they do that. That's what's happening, right? They're going out there. They collect the thing. They redirect you, and they're getting paid. You go to Rakuten, and you're like, hey, I want to get something. I don't know. Let's see what we want to get. We'll go over here. Double cash back or whatever it is, right? And you're like, hey, let's check out the deals. Let's go to the old Target. Now, they know you're going to spend money at Target at some point. And I think Target has like a 30-day cookie or whatever. And they're like, okay, well, AT&T, boom. Hey, let's see this offer here. Now, that's a pretty simple landing page. Let's see what happens. We wait. And well, wait a minute. Now we're on AT&T's site. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, CJ Affiliate. What does that mean? That means they're a commission junction affiliate. They be getting paid when you buy the stuff. And if you understand this, and you understand, hey Marcus, I get it. Philly marketing ain't just about some guy trying to hawk a course. Ain't about that. Can courses be helpful? Of course they can. Someone says golf. Yeah, you can make a, a toolbar on golf. You can make a page about golf. Here's the things you need to know about improving your golf or what to do or etiquette on the golf course. I don't know. I, I, I keep wondering, would they kick me off the golf course if I took the mini Jeep? It just sounds so fun to me to go bug golfers in the mini Jeep. I just think that would be fun. But you start to understand you could do this for free. Make a PDF. You don't have a website, go make a PDF. Or make a website. Spend the money, make a website. Learn the way that it works. Learn from Rakuten's business model of genius. And start to understand, wait a minute, it starts with a search and it goes to something helpful. What is the value? The value Rakuten is providing is sales for the consumer and customers for the merchant. That's what we're doing. They just found a creative way to do it and, and they pass that on to the people. And you start to understand, wait a minute, Marcus, this affiliate business is bigger than you. It's bigger than all the gurus put together, even the fancy ones with the money and the Lambos. It's bigger. And when you start to understand that, it gets you out of your head of, well, wait a minute, I can't figure it out. And some guru has the answer. There was someone here that was begging for answers and answers and answers. But the fact is, is you don't have to do that. The answers are in front of you. What do you do? You go find traffic. People looking for stuff, and you help them out. And you help them out in a really, really good way. And the Rakuten business model is so smart. From the way they started, from like, hey, I'm going to help businesses, and I'm going to make a portal. Boom. That's how this works. And if you want notes and want to learn more about affiliate marketing, check out downloadmynotes.com. I also have some links to my video on the Honey app which is in the description, fun video, um, lots of good info on how the Honey app works, how they make money. And if you guys have some cool businesses you want me to check out next, put them as a comment um, on this video. Let me know, hey, dive into this business. Show me how this works. And I want to show you guys how this works because there's so many ways to make money online. And I think a lot of us are being jaded by all the noise, but you don't have to be. The proof is in the pudding and you can learn exactly how this works and you can make money in a real world way. Check out downloadmynotes.com. Check out the links in the description. If you guys dig this business model, give this video a thumbs up, help promote it, 
in the fancy algorithm. I know that's what the other YouTubers say. Smash the like button. Whatever you gotta do, let me know you like it. And 